Hey, a uh, quick intro, just regular Max here, no Pale Bird, uh, with it being the season of costumes and myself being kind of lazy and waiting till the last minute. I screwed up and there's not going to be a paler one. I, we had to put Apoch's eye back. Again, I'm very sorry. Hey, w dude, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. We're I'm filming right now. <laughs> So, you want to be a paler, or at least learn more about them, I think I can help you. Today I will be the paler bird. This is about Genesis, a post-apocalyptic tabletop role-playing game, and soon to be a story-driven asymmetrical semi-cooperative game featuring tactical mother hubbard. Tactical combat that takes players to the front lines of a war for humanity's survival. If you would like to learn more about the world itself, I would suggest you go over to their website. There's just so much there that I myself cannot sufficiently simplify. The world as we know it is gone. Humanity has survived dozens of grisly generations. Struggling for a better life amidst the end of Earth's civilizations. Various groups of people have carved themselves out a place and a purpose within this blasted heath, and it's not going to get any easier. In the world of Degenesis Rebirth, there are organizations and societal structures that have found themselves in positions of power and influence across various locales. This video series will give a basic overview of the world through the eyes of the 13 cults, hopefully giving you a better understanding of a cult and maybe even a few ideas for a character of your own. Today is the Palers. Expect some spoilers. When I first started playing and GMing for Degenesis, I definitely made the mistake of explaining Palers as old world goblins. I took too much from Fallout, or explained them as oh, sneaking precious, or I've even tried to do the classical Igor as a stereotype for a paler. No. Too simple. It is so much more than that. Each episode will just keep getting dense. I'm sorry. You there, devoted paler. Yes? Your last episode was a little oh. long. Cut that out. Be succinct. Yes, your graciousness, yes! That is a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. Life is dark, and- And one more thing. Swear better, don't blather, and keep silly voices to a minimum. We swears, precious, we swears! Life is dark, and it's gonna stay that way. Now, let's get this straight. Palers are cultists. Not cult as in battalions, Jehemidans, or chroniclers, but there is an active cult of personality. A uniform, a system of location, Restriction, restriction, and an ide ideological isolation, in this case on a huge scale. Organizations, structures, fail-safes, and especially an element of blind devotion. Most problems with cults in our world consist that the leader gets old, dies, does something stupid, and their signs revolt or collapse. RG is a wonder. Plans within plans. We, palers, guard the chthonic tombs of gene-divined gods. 
When they wake, we serve them and their plans. They've moved past us, surpassed us, transhumanism. They will perfect this imperfect world. Imperfect. There is no book, no explained doctrines. It is implanted, reinforced, socially proofed. It is just a part of you, just awareness of what is real and what is worth. But there are those who earn divine favor and understand Project Tannhauser further. RG, there is a charismatic herocrat and prophet, Gigi, Control. the great evangelist, at the head of this. This organization constructed for us has been done with brutal intellect and intent and efficiency to ensure that the vault crawlers remain to protect the gods, palers in whatever bunker they're in. The algae went stale, the lights went dark, their diet sources diminished and potable drinking water lessened each day. Look into how malnutrition can affect critical thinking. Independent thought has become crippled. Sometimes we had to thieve from cults and clanners, steal children. Where do you think the boogeymen and tommyknockers come from? The entire structure of Palers is a theocratic meritocracy. True, but one where everyone is kept in line through manipulation. Not to mention they reinforce and help manipulate each other. Your congregations are awareness seminars. The demagogue plants aspirants among the others to ensure that everyone is thinking right, using the right slogans, speeches, songs, salutes. These aspirants make sure that you don't get enough sleep. Language has been altered. We click and we, not me, echolocate. Our vision has been damaged so much by the darkness that we live in, the sun has become anathema. You have been crafted this way. Where trolls live in the Finnish woods, the fairy circles are not to be disturbed, the haunted houses, the burial grounds, those places filled with superstition, where only the brave go and never return. That is our home. You might go somewhere and encounter palers, but for the most part, it's bad news. We are the other. It is us against them. There are places goats just go missing in the Pyrenees, or worse, they're herders. Folk tales of traders returning rich in gold and technology from a mysterious cave. And then those who pursue them try to do it again. They will not return. A series of clicks when exploring some ruins in the Carpathians means you've strayed too far from the sun and should return post-haste. Maybe drop something of yours, pseudo-offering to the ghosts inside the mountains. If an organization comes in contact with a paler, they should sleep with one eye open. Because when they are sleeping, sleeping. we are lurking. Lurking. Palers are errant knights. Their quest will bring them across the world. From Hibraspania to Borca. From Balkan to Britain. And their loyalty is unquestioning. Our leaders are gifted with special vision. Do not doubt, wherever you tread in your quest, whatever struggle you have, it is ordained. Unlike the other creatures of the world, bipedal and thinking, they, those humans, are not chosen like you were. They are not gifted with the glimpses of the truth like you are. They know not. No cult or religion has the same unflinching devotion, knowledge of how the world should be, knowledge of the ruins, and the fervor and the metal and the means to carry out a mission. Ferocious, sometimes feral, furtive, and faithful. Palers are a cult that have prepared for so many ultimatums. They are the honor guard, the guardians who have died defending their homes and their charges. They have helped exhume their saviors from the techno-magical sarcophagi and into the world that they have been destined to reshape. The actions are guided. The minds of those who deal with others, sharp. And their motives are derived from the visionary font. The medic capillaries. Understand that every bullet is a gift given and your responsibility is to aim it true. If you see a god, bow. If you see an infidel, despise them. If you see a comrade, aid them or dominate them. We approach spoilerific territory. Project Tannhauser, redemption through love. Na heiden Tannhauser Thor? What can humanity actually do 
accomplish? What are we capable of? What other worlds can we be destined to see? What other... Uh, can we escape the cradle? Mature past fledgling flight? And to truly free beings within the universe? You, me, we are but a small part of a divine plan. Then... Free spirit. Goodness gracious, there should be a plan B and C and D and ETC. If you are planning the future of man, and if, hard if, the gods become fallible, there are those of whom revel within the chaos and can unify with the mundane and metamorphosize into the heavenly. Prophets of prophets ready to save the world from itself. It was not for nothing. And save it from the mistakes of the old world. There are no mistakes. Know that they are trusted. By RG? No. Other sleepers? No. But definitely GG. Get your trail. Know it better than anyone else. Their skills and capabilities are tailored to surpass most. Learn of the world. Revel within the vaults. You shall seek the secrets of it. Those outside don't know the faces, the waves, the numbers, the meanings. The layers of information conveyed within singular words and works are ours. If one should consider leaving, it is a traitorous thought. You are leaving the path of God. This doubt is your fault, and you are to blame. A recovery from being a paler is almost impossible. The entire cult structure is entirely a cult structure, and they want you on the inside. You have no sense of humor. Your entire life, you have been living exposed to the mimetics intended for you. Your mother, and then your grandfather, his mother before him, and her father before her. All did this. You are predisposed. Predestined. How could you live as a spiritual invalid, invalid in the transhumanism given to us by RG? A tear of sympathy for the others is a tear in the soul. Be present with your presence. This present moment is a present gifted by prescience. Some have sacrificed this self-awareness for blank and malevolent primitivism. Know that it comes with a cost. They are worse than heathen. Apostate. Betrayer. You did not grow up in the darkness to cross into the scorching sun. You did not become few to then war in force. You did not sacrifice the iris, messenger of the gods, for nothing. You strengthened the orphan student within the eye, the pupil. The uninitiated will not be able to gaze into your soul, dark, protected, enshrined. Use sound. Use the night. Use dark. Carry your holy war without a torch. Absentia lucem. Do not fight for sustenance to become compliant with abundance. There is a sacred order within these chambers. Sacred order within the vault. Your pitch, your posture, and your presence are your power. Your voice. For palers, most are specters. They are not individuals. So wholly trapped within their mental slavery, they are a part of a collective, mood altered and entranced. They are unable in many ways to analyze things alone. They are dependent on the group, especially the demagogue and the aspirants. There is a dehypnotization of sorts. Rank two means that the paler has proven him or herself they are comfortable with electronics. They have singular mental clarity towards completing a the goal. They might bear a disc. So few are actually in this position. They have You have to earn it. Solars grace the ground with their saintly footfalls, bathing in ultraviolet light. We are it. We are it. We are it. We maintain and correct improper functions. Weld, bash, caress until it works again, and we clear the thresholds, shore up the defenses. Revivification to bring back life. Revivers bring the earth and the bunkers back to life. Scouts, diplomat, spies, explorers, old friends across bunkers welcomed as cousins. The Phantom, Mara, Dream Hunters, Strike, Feed, Hunt, Rage, Scrounge, Enslave, Steal, Annihilate, Kill. The third ranks are sergeants. Specialists, crafters, those who know no, no too much mimetic drift. The mental cell of the mimetics rusts, wears, and weakens. Wondrousness of the discs becomes explainable. 
the magic disappears. A solvent of superstitions, no? Knowledge is power. You may have the voice. The voice. You can have power, amassed, hidden, or locked away, because the demagogue watches. Redeemers are the reuniters, the awakeners, proving that they are worthy, ready to be absolved, and absolve others. Discoverer of secrets, clever beyond what was shown. They will pull on the guise of a filthy sunwalker. Their customs are yours, you blend in. You might even get a tan. Aurora, scientists, engineers, knowledge of the secrets of the electrodes. They can use code, complete logic puzzles within the bunkers. Discover ever-growing depths and uncharted tunnels. So many things are hidden from the sun, but not from the aurora. The Cyclops' vision is singular, penetrating. No one escapes their gaze or their scope. You do not deserve to rise unless you have proven yourself. No chance, age, sex, physique. There's a few wooden or silver spoons amongst the palers, but they all look same in the dark. Now, here. We diverge, fork into those who suck from the molasses words of the demagogue, or leave the chorus holding a nimbus. Halos, who walk with their sleeper prophets, no longer Tannhauser, they are allowed to be wreathed in light, may walk enlightened, their minds illuminated past their guardly duties. There are many of whom are free-spirited. If you serve one, you are a chosen disciple. They may call you a heretic, those in the bunker, unimportant. The old ways may need to be remedied, reformed, and if needed, revolted against. Your new master surpasses any old one. Serve them. Your precious horde may become your enemy, just as the above grinders are. It is you and the other apostles, and then your prophet against the world. Aspirants practice the art of the voice. voice. All of the knowledge laid out before them. All they need to do is exercise it. The mind looks and the body follows. A lieutenant, caretaker of the mind, a psychologist in the most horrid sense, mindful manipulators, mimics, masters of mental malleability. How are you going to do that? If you don't control that mind of yours, who does? If you know that someone can, will that protect you? Hello, and good day. Welcome to Memeticism 101 for Advanced Thinkers. I am Maxfield PB Words, here to bring you up to speed and prepare you for the next steps for your careers. Some of you may be a little confused, a little nauseous, a little bewildered. Your saltines over there. You are entirely fine. I assure you that the psych vac has entered your system and is doing its job. Some get used to it faster than others. If you've forgotten that you've enrolled, that's okay. You did. That's why you're here. Recombination Group, thanks to timely technological advances and the, the emergence of Dr. Agai's work, we have been able to unlock the mind. Socio-cybernetics has surpassed far beyond what we here at RG could have ever conceived that it would have been able to do. Gusev, Thorne, so many people are a part of this innovation. We are able to insert vast quantities of information into the gray matter of any individual. There will be a series of triggers, a vocal trigger, images, audio, audio cues, olfactory senses, prompts that will help you recall information and facts. If you've ever had a smell that just brings you back to a place in your childhood, a Rakukuni moment, legitimate. Regardless of where you go, this will be here. Most people don't even know that they've been seeing this the whole time, consuming this information. Because unlike you, their mental insertion is organic, over time with memes, archetypes, sacred geometry. Remember Nordvig's lecture on the correlation between landscape and culture. Landscape is the backdrop to any culture. Make sure you have the ability to access it. Inside everyone, there is a little voice. Some call it a conscience. It is a consciousness, an awareness, the ego. A person's actions, thoughts, range of emotions, and abilities don't only lie in the ego, the superego. Implantations within the subconscious, that's cake. Plenty of memories that you can hold on to, plenty of powerful emotions that you can evoke, induce, uh, incite. And you will be able to, with these skills, tap into the subconscious of others. 
let us have just a little bit of an example. A family eating at the table, the fruit is rotten. Wolves chasing the sun and the moon, forever round and round. A priest giving a sermon, fostering faith and bliss. He is flanked by angels. Munitions imported to barrage a city that has no strategic value. Your own reflection. You see your father in your face, and there, there's your mother. Her mother, her mother, her mother, her mother, her... What did you see? Now, no need to tell me. Sit with your thoughts. Breathe in. Breathe out. Remember to reread your introduction manual. Make sure you're massaging, get used to the psych vac, and be ready for next week, our, uh, our, our lecture on circadian rhythm disruption protocols. When you're taking notes, don't forget the AOC, association, obsession, and compulsion. Very important. I always made little doodles when I was taking notes. But do you remember Asclepius Con? This time we will be hosting it in Denver, Colorado at the Law Institute, L-A-W. Our special speaker this year will be Data Jacksonius and his lecture on, the, on sound and apocalyptic literature. You can find his streamcasts called The Echoes of Egerton, a description down below. We will see you there. Human Transcendence is here. Have fun. For a demagogue, you are a shepherd, actor, torturer, dictator, and director, all in one. You know what makes the bunker tick, what they can do to ensure that they stay in line, what reassurances your palers, your bunker needs to carry out their duties. Every demagogue essentially needs to have a certificate from Insoc, Newspeak, and Doublethink. Ultimately, you are a propagandist and an advertiser. As a rule of thumb, people want to avoid pain. With positive reinforcement, you are a guide now. Teach them. Point your specters. Send them. Send out the phantoms, redeemers, solars, and use the voice. Your voice. As a paler, you will rise in rank because you have ability. But you will succeed if you combine that ability with opportunity and piety. Insert a knowledge is power quote here. Not to mention you have to have a willingness to manipulate people. I believe there are three stages, and I shall name them Match, Candle, and Torch. Ranks 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. An individual is capable of understanding that they have light that can illuminate things. Becoming enlightened and skilled means you can see and understand more. Eventually, with a torch, you can stoke the fires of the platonic allegorical cave, or venture into the unenlightened black sunshine. Ignorance to knowledge, knowledge to enlightenment, grim sons to phaethons, and quasars. These creatures we call palers, they wriggle and squirm and tug one another to produce homunculi, giving horrible life to a new fledgling paler. And the infant's squeals, decrying the baby's misery, are looked upon with fondness. The drips of water are no longer the ambient music of the subterranean. Bleiche. Sometimes a child or the mother will not survive. So sometimes we take children. Lustrate them. Prepare the mountaintops for the Capricorn of humanity. Part of this is preservation of the ways. Tradition is the key to survival. Do not take so much that the host dies. If you need pork, do not cut the throat of a pregnant sow. Let it litter. If you need bread, do not burn the fields. Do not starve the farmers. We are solitary, but not stupid. Palers are warriors. They are the warrior caste, spiritually, mentally, and physically serving their lords. The ignorance of others is an obstacle that you do not proselytize through. That is not your job. No way around, only through. Are the walls strong? Sack them. Do the guards have keen eyes and ears? Take them from them. Use our sacred weapons to conduct struggle. Palers are the baronets and carls of whom guard, the sesh who record and remember, the ishara who perform the ancient rites, and the gurus of mimeticism and utopia. Utopia. Remember each century will bring those who are divine and will perfect everything. We have a duty. If we fail, billions will have suffered, degenerated, 
and died painful deaths for nothing. Died for nothing. Do not pity or sympathize those who let the sun's rays meet them. Use them. When we look at the paler rank tree, it is useful to reiterate that these are definitely not goals that every player or NPC will strive to achieve. Think of it as a totem pole of power and domination exercising that power. It may differ between each cult, but palers, there are three, kind of four methods of being a paler, and the responsibilities that fall within each branch. This rank tree is meritocratic, with a twinge of luck and no lack of destiny. Many are specters. Some are solars, revivers, and phantoms. Few are redeemers, cyclopses, and auroras. And then there is a countable number of whom become aspirants and halos. The bunker is only big enough for one demagogue. Aspirants and demagogues are essentially entirely focused on the doctorate of manipulation and mimetics. Each demagogue is going to be watching their back, sleeping to an extent with one eye open, consistently waging a war of of the mind with a potential adversary, and the aspirants of the bunker, maybe weeding them out until one surpasses the leader and replaces them. That is the Tannhauser way. Being a halo is devoting yourself to someone else's plan, someone more skilled in manipulation and containing more knowledge in everything Wonderland. You have not earned, nor do you deserve, lax, full rest, no indulgence, and you are still beholden to the gods. Sleepers or sleeper prophets, no sacrifice is too great. Palers are not some sort of Morlock or flock of Smeagols guarding the Bene Gesserit. And they're definitely not all sneak thieves or a cult entirely based on edgelord rogues. They're definitely a people with a culture, and they are at least mostly human, bar a couple chromosomes. There will always be darkness to hold you in its cold embrace, wherever you go. Dark. Do you think they get it? Oh, yes. We're probably good. Alright, I'm just gonna read this, then. Make sure you clean up in here before you go. You're gonna have to make it look like an accident. Uh, accidental buckshot? Look, Palebird's not gonna miss these guys. There was... Th there should be 22 of them. Definitely 21. I did see one fall in the lake, so 20. They're not very good at swimming. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, until we meet again. Peace. Lork minds her duties up and down the halls. She thought that the time when that scrapper crawled in and she punched a hole through his lungs, she would ascend. She figured when by accident, she was able to reawaken the long screen in the east-southeastern hall. She'd have ascended. She groveled and begged the aspirants for their expertise. What more could she do? They scoffed. If you have to ask, you'll never know. So she groveled more, keeping the rabble in line. For every mind is plastic. It must be molded, fed correctly. Each incorrect wrinkle in the white matter can be stabilized surgically with a sociological scalpel. Verster knows his role very well. Out of the nucleus of inner knowledge, he will spread seeds of the duties and sow the diligence into the fold of each and every cranium. Whispers, rumors, legations, delegations, every word that spills from his mouth is crafted to effect. He considers himself the caregiver for two each and every thought that runs inside the bunker. She had begun to enjoy the warmth of the sun. Late spring and early fall were her favorite times to operate. Elios Osterix covered herself with a broad hat and a heavy coat. A stranger asked if she knew the way to Klalkin. She did not answer. The sun-baked creature was not worth her time. They stared at one another till he left. She waited till he passed the horizon, before she returned to the refreshing darkness. She began thinking about how to inform the demagogue of the witness, and whether the Cyclopses had to pursue him or not. Maybe just send out a phantom, a scout. Bleeth was touched by smooth and infallible skin of a savior, and she was bound, followed aimlessly, only slept when told to, ate when must, when most efficient. You've been knighted and performed errantries, Bleeth thought. To herself. Does a god need sustenance? 
I shall clean his armor. I shall ensure the holy weapon is spotless. Is someone in your way, Cyrus? Let me have the honor of ending them for you. She would hold her breath until asphyxiated or passing out, whichever happened first, if asked to. Blinded, but does not need to see. Tannhauser failed. Understood. It is not doomed, not hopeless, not cataclysmic. A prophet has been sent, a divine being higher than the other gods, the inner circle of the inner circle, concentric rings of righteousness, umbramatic to each of us. No matter, illumination will be felt in the pineal eye. Frailty is absolved, relieved of his guard duties, renamed Diakotoros, a messenger of Ures. Most people were chosen by hand. Their parents blindly followed so that these wretched children may witness the rise of gods. Many are changelings of a sort, commanded to be rescued and in turn rescue the bunker from itself, while others are squires, as specters, standing in awe merely of the power of each other vault crawler, and others were cursed by chance to live in eternal cacophonous dark, dreading the light. Youth is conviction. Destiny is choice. Strength is virtue. Chroniclers will try to play their mind games with us. Helvetics will catch us like rats. Each is lesser. No cult is as important as this one. Jackals, maybe. After a long day of looking around and bleaching even further, or delving into a tunnel which was more cavernous than previously thought, it would be rare for a paler to turn down beauty or not enjoy some copulation. Try to find answers out of hallucinations, out of substances. So, count your munitions, keep your shiv sharp, listen very closely, do as I do, and know that you, you, a part of something bigger. Go find those 44. Whether it's for your new campaign or a character or even just a thought experiment, I hope I've helped set a frame of mind establishing and then destroying what it means to be a paler. Boy howdy. My personal thought is, and don't quote me on this, the reason this cult is the last in the book is that it's the last one you should try to play. A low level player can be a great addition to a group. If it fits with the meta plot and it has good, heavy motivations for every member. But palers should operate either solo or in a horde, or maybe like a guest player that goes around and acts more like an assistant GM with the GM themselves. A one on one role playing session is perfect for palers. I speak from experience. A horde of palers, or maybe like players, a horde of palers versus a uh, cell of chroniclers in Justician, that would be fantastic. If a player wants to play a paler, well, I'll say that five times fast, I'd suggest that they try to do so. Personally, I'd want the player to be well versed in degenesisness, and generally also being rather well read. Definitely Carl Jung, uh, and be willing to play a villainous character and have an explicit goal assigned to them. There's no real choice. Palers, while gremlin like, gremlin like, should not be the butt of a joke. Granted, I mean, for me and my players, it's always been a sin that we do so. We'll pay. I know this was a lot, so honestly, take your time, and if you want to read directly from the source, I highly suggest it. Primal Punk, Catharsis, that's the way to go. Artifacts has a very good section with memetics that, if you plan on playing a demagogue or it, it, putting together a demagogue or an aspirant, that's necessary. Jamin's Trilogy, Black Atlantic. Black Atlantic, oh my god, read that, and then Pair that to the, the paler knowledge within Justician and, uh, excuse me, the Righteous Fist and the Moloch, or Moloch. Artica, my boy! You will experience many spoilers while pursuing palers. Few other, there, there's few other cults that are heavily, so heavily invested in the meta plot. If you want to focus on the palers right now, I've got a couple suggestions down below. Uh, it can help you get in the mood to see what, how palers think. I think how is the important, the important verb. No, important question. The Urbanist, part one. Read that for the, the Guardian's thoughts. Like, how, how much of it is instinctual. And the relationship between palers and sleepers. 
Divination is an easy, great one. I, I do have to also, like, I, I love Halo from Black Atlantic. It's a hard, it's a hard pass up. Arnica. The, uh, again, with those internal thoughts and realizations and obvious knowledge of how the, the cast system in their own, in their own head works. I've listened to much more Wagner than I expected to. So keep in mind, for palers, but in all things, if you want to get your soul to heaven, trust in me now. Don't judge or question. You are broken now, but faith can heal you. Just do everything I tell you to do. Oof. And on that note, this has been the Paler Bird. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Have yourselves a awesome and delightful day. <laughs> <laughs>